Hello, Lynette here from Australia and welcome to my channel. I have this beautiful little journal to show you here. This journal is 22 centimetres high, which in inches is just over eight and a half and 14 just over 14 centimeters wide so just over five and a half and the spine is five centimeters which makes it just under two inches so it's a gorgeous little size it is a pre-loved book which i had experimented on with the cover I was playing with, I wanted to play with some texture, so I started off by putting some tissue paper down, um, lunch paper that you bake with, and I glued that on first with some PVA thinned out Mod Podge, and then <clears throat> I have went and stenciled over the top as well, and then I painted this here is a mold that I've put together with um, hot glue I, I used the mold and put the hot glue in it because I feel like I've, I've made before with the dried clay and the air drying one I love it but it seems to sort of crack after time and I didn't want that to happen I wanted this to last a long time so it's going to last a very long time the tassel here I love the jingles of it <clears throat> we've got some beautiful organic looking colors to go with the antique mushrooms and some lovely beads and tass and little tassels some beautiful antique buttons you can see there and this gorgeous antique button that I've just put a couple of petals on it's beautiful and we've got a leaf and just some beautiful ribbons in the colors that the journal is so that's just gorgeous the cover itself has texture all the way around and we've got some cheesecloth here which just gives it that extra depth of texture and kind of a grungier sort of look with it being mushrooms and in the forest type thing a couple of different colors of paint I love the way that this comes across here as well. That's the cheesecloth. We've got three signatures with lots of little bits and pieces, little threads coming out on the sides as well as some leaves and some threads on the bottom. The cover is just gorgeous. I absolutely love it. So I have an enclosed ribbon for the closure and on the inside we've got lots of little pockets with lots of tags a business card and a note from the bookmaker on how to use the journal there's a little got lots of little corner bits and pieces so there's a pull out there and a little tag and all my tags um, are backed with tea dyed paper and can be written on there's quite a few extra pockets for people to whoever owns this to be able to have their own bits and pieces to hide and put in there we've got a gorgeous colored tea dyed flip up a little bit extra and this beautiful same colors as the cover metallic 
and a bit of the stenciling from the cover as well. So I've got a few of my uh, mushroom kits in here, lots of different little mushrooms and some beautiful gold threads just in the corner there which I think is just beautiful and the center has got each signature center has got a couple of butterflies in it and also this beautiful texture of threads in there as well just gives it that little bit extra so more pockets and another little flip up this you could paint over if you wanted to do some writing on it or just clip something onto it lots of little bits and pieces little pocket with some more mushrooms there's an empty pocket some different pages here's a raggedy that I've made it's quite lovely and on the other side we've got this beautiful lace which I've got through the through the whole journal um, it's just gorgeous it's a friend gifted that to me and the little butterflies wings flap if you want them to it's another little corner tag and a flip see this lace here it's just beautiful lots of texture in it and <clears throat> Lots of writing space, plenty of room for writing or drawing, and lots of gorgeous mushroom pictures. Some more butterflies, belly band, a little butterfly. That beautiful lace again. I'm just loving these bronzes and golds together at the moment. Another little flip up. Look at that. That's from my poppy paper that I make from the poppies from my garden. There's another little tag in there. This one's a little open up. And that one opens out as well. It's another tag. So these beautiful greens and browns and mossy sort of colours. It just makes a beautiful mushroom garden or forest. Lots of tags in here in this little cluster here you can see all the gold threads and it's just beautiful it's another little flip up corner flip up and a pocket some more tags some organic looking threads there I love my little snail on the mushrooms and some more pocket tags so the bronzes and the greens the browns just all work together beautifully so that is my antique mushroom journal I hope you enjoyed watching that and it'll go up on my Etsy store for sale. And if you subscribe, you'll get notification of my next videos. Thank you.